6 p.m. and here's my date for the day. Uh, started with MES, started on Sunday, we opened up in here and started to move down. Levels are as shown with support below and resistant above. Our first read came in, in here early in the morning around uh, 10 a.m. Chicago time. Picked up a long, took a little bit of heat, went back up and took profit in here. Initial profit was in here somewhere. But because I took uh, the MES with the MNQ and the M2K and was able to reach a 300 for that day, I exited all a bit early. So we're going back, the, again, the MES, going in here, long, exited on this level in here, and then continued down. MNQ, long, right, right at the tick down here, and moved up. I was exited a bit early, but was, at that time it was 300 for the, for the all, all my positions opened. Then at the uh, M2K as well, uh, Picked it up in this bar and I closed in the same bar, this hourly bars. And I did not get filled in the MYM. That was a 10 in here. It, it did reach it later that day and moved up from, from that. I was I was out of the house by then. I closed up about I think 10, 15 or so and I was I was gone and uh, I left the house altogether. Uh, I did also have a an order for the soybeans again. It uh, was long in here, or maybe this part, I can't remember. It did take a lot of heat, and uh, I waited, and in here somewhere I uh, I got out of it at, I think, 15.98, or maybe about 96, or something like that. And nothing set up on the wheat, nothing on the corn, I did have some few forex trades that not done very well. The Australian dollar, I am long from here, taking a lot of heat. I may take another one, another position. I take a two thousand five hundred dollar position, micros. I may pick up another, maybe one thousand five hundred in here, and wait for a maybe a close in here at this stage if I do pick up another one. Then on the Swiss Japanese, I picked up a short early in the morning in here, and I got out of it the same day, and a couple of hours after that, with the, with the profit. That's a close trade. I'm holding the pound Swiss. I took out a short, started to go my way. This is my target. I didn't quite get there, moved up. I just added another one. To it, pound has been having some some crazy moves lately, so I I may not add too many uh, to other positions as well. Again, with the pound Swiss, uh, past both uh, R1 and R2, I picked up the short, and it's about break even now. Euro New Zealand, I picked up a short at R2, added to it. After that, stop is close by in here for both. Euro AD is, I took a short in here and it kept on moving. I should have waited for the extreme levels and picked it up in here, but too late now, so it's uh, I, it's a stop loss. I took a stop loss on this. Nothing else was setting up. I am uh, done for the day with, with another good day.